Holy crud, holy crud baskets. Okay, what's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Miss Stralton Cave. Uh, no, we didn't find anything. Nothing. Uh, we met Kabalion outside right here. You know, that whole thing right there. And uh, now it is time for us to go into his Charstone Cave, because we need to get to the next city. Now, here we are in Chargestone Cave. There is something very, very special about this place. As you can see near the rocks, you know, it's charging, it's, you know, electrifying, whatever. But not only that, it enables uh, certain things to happen to certain Pokemon in certain situations. There is a, well, there was a reason why I was keeping this rare candy because, well, it is time. Let's give it to Magneto. We are in the Chargestone Cave. Bam! Evolution or Digivolution time. Okay, so as many of you guys would know, you know, Magneton can only evolve in certain situations, like in the Lightning Storm or in Charge Stone Cave. And I was waiting for this moment, and it becomes into a huge tank. Look at that. Look at that. Magnazone. Okay. It's a pretty good looking Pokemon right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon. And yes, we used our last rare candy. It's cool. It's whatever. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new Pokemon right here, Magneto. So, it is both electric and steel type. And, well, let's see. The Magnet Pool prevents steel type Pokemon from escaping. Uh, one big thing that you'll notice, it is a very, very good special attacker. Cannot wait to start using some, like, special attack moves. Which, by the way, let's see. I um, kind of want to see something right here. I kind of want to look at something, okay? I think I may have, oh look at that, I have, I have Volt Switch, but this, oh yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and use Volt Switch right here, can actually work with Magneto for some good strategy and all that stuff, you know, since Draven is, uh, you know, being a little strategic now, and well, Spark, it is a physical attack, so there you go, Volt Switch, and is there anything else that we can actually use? No, not really, um, okay, so while I'm rambling on right here, let's see, Summary, Yes, yeah, so it has the experience share. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take that item. Let's move that item. Let's give it... Huh. Let's give it the Shidar. And yes, we, we just traded some items right there. Okay. So anywho, Bianca's right there waiting for us. And she notices... Oh, hey! Did you know this? If you push the floating stones, they move. Uh... As always, this place is charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another, so that's why there are floating stones. You can't push all of them, though. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I came here to research something. Be seeing you! Okay, so... Yeah. I don't know what you're researching, but as you can see, look at that. Can't push that. We are shocking. And, well, we're going to be pushing this right here. And we're going to be grabbing some items that we desperately need, or eh, we kind of need, or something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, continue on our adventure right here. As many of you guys already know, bam, pushing this right there. Uh, yes, I am using a guide to actually, you know, to guide me right here because, well, you know, good Draven. Good old Draven is not really good with uh, remembering stuff anymore. So let's go ahead and use a Desert Storm and increase our... Or increase our chances to win right here. So, here we have, uh, let's see, I think a guitarist and a... Alright, let me introduce you to the other super cool and cute member of my band. Okay, so who's the super cute member of your band? Uh, okay, so guitarist Anna wants to battle. She will have a Molga now. Oh, crap baskets, I... Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. I, I just realized something. In the last episode, we... Oh, yeah. Oh, rock Slide. Never mind. Yeah. In the last episode, we got the TM-80, which was Rock Slide. So, this actually will help us against Emolga if Emolga stops being a little butthole right here. Yeah, Emolga's always been the butthole of the whole Pokemon world right there. Because it's both electric and flying. And, well, look at that. Say goodbye to the Pikachu Carbon Copy right there. And, well, it hit us pretty hard. Not the coolest thing ever. So, let's go ahead and give... Our Pokemon little heal right here. Let's go straight to the Hyper Potion. And there you go. Okay, so we're going to have quite a few Pokemon trainers, a few items. And make sure to bring a lot of repel items, guys, because, well, 
you don't want to be attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. Speaking of which, in this area, you'll be able to find Bulldor, Ferroseed, Joltik, a pretty cool Pokemon. Not really a... Uh, well, a live version of it. Not really a good live version of it, but let's go ahead and battle this guy. Uh, yeah, Clink, Nosepass, and Tynamo is a very rare Pokemon you can actually find right here, so just be aware of all of that. Some items that you can actually find here are like Escape Ropes, Full Heals, Hyper Potions, uh, Metal Coat, and a Thunderstone. These are some, yeah, these are some stuff that you can actually use for, you know, later on for some specific Pokemon that you kind of want to use. And, well, there is a Magnetite in our face, so let's go ahead and switch it out right here. And... Well, here comes the X attack, and that is not going to be working pretty pro or pretty good for you because look at this, flamethrower attack for the win, and well, it's sturdy, so here comes the metal sound, and that right there will, well, kind of lure everything, so here we go again, there it is, okay, alrighty, so flamethrower for the win, and... Cheddar, grows to level 32. Okay, so we're working with Funtan right here. Now we have to go all the way around. Because, yes, we want to battle everybody right here. We gotta, we kind of need to train our Pokemon just a tad bit right here. So let's see. Pushing that. And, well, if we go up here, we're kind of going to... We're going to find a trainer somewhere. Let's see. Push this. Okay, so that right that was a little too easy but you have to push that towards this in order to make it easier for you to go to towards the exit of this whole area so yeah they're making us work they're making us work right here so if you guys remember we found the shadow triad right here in pokemon black and white charge stone cave i really like it here formulas express the forces behind electricity its connection to pokemon and humans and pokemon themselves this this is my ideal place i have to go I have to go in order to save Pokemon and protect uh, the very friend that I have to stop. Okay, so who was that? Uh, okay, so I don't even know who that was. Protect the friend he has to very he has to stop. My guess is Colrus. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and take on this guy right here. And uh, behold the destructive force created by my three prize Pokemon. Why did you have to say three, man? Seriously. Why couldn't you have, like, oh, crap, Baskets, it's a triple battle, right? No, no. Oh, crap, Baskets, it's a triple battle. Okay, so, yeah, I just looked at that on the guide and... <laughs> this ought to be fun. So we kind of, we, we, we're, we're kind of on even ground right here. So I'm just going to use that, hit both. I'm going to use this. Um, let's go ahead and use that. And let's go ahead and do that and hit that. Okay, so the taunt attack right here is going to enrage one of our Pokemon. But here comes the Rock Slide, hitting two Pokemon at once. Unpheasant. Oh, crap, Baskets. Wow, these guys are surviving. Okay, so here comes the Volt Switch attack. We're going to hit Unpheasant. And this will make it faint. Yes, sir. Okay. So there we go. Magneto's coming back. And, well, we're going to go with a proper Pokemon to actually defeat that Clink right there. And let's see. Let's go with Big Booty Butt Kiss. Let's go. All right, Bookus, how you doing? Here comes the dig attack. That right there is probably gonna be, yeah, that, that that's probably gonna be for me right there. So, let's see. Hmm. We can go Dragon Breath. We can go Flamethrower onto that guy, and this one right here. Let's go with a Reflect because, uh, yeah, yeah, if anything that move is going to be made for us and clink has been paralyzed gigalith will actually protect us from our from our physical hit right here and look at that physically hit and that would have that would have had uh, what was it but kiss faint right there so we did the right thing by beating or by doing the reflect right there so there we go and but kiss has grown to level 35 and well let's see does a storm we're gonna use that on nobody. We're gonna use that on that guy. And obviously we're gonna be using this on that guy. And here comes the side beam attack. And look at that. Sand Slash has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, okay. Teamwork! Triple battle. 
You guys have noticed this, yeah. I've been very strategic with a lot of the battles. I don't know. It's probably because I've been getting criticized a lot. I don't know. Okay, so that right there. Yes, let's use another one. And we're going to be finding ourselves another item right here. Found ourselves a magnet. Which can actually power up any electric type moves. And, well, let's see. Let's just get the heck out of here. Going into the next floor. And where, oh, where am I in this location? Hold on just a sec. Uh, it, do, 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 do. I'm looking at the thing. And I think. Okay, where the hell am I? Oh, I know where I'm at. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go right here. And we're going to find some individuals who want to double battle. So I, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so there, that's where I'm at. So before we do any of that stuff, let's go ahead and heal up a Pokemon again because, well, we kind of need that. So, Buckus, how's it going? Now, a few episodes ago, I was trying to look up why was I stopping for Buckus. So while we battle these two people... Wait, do we? Hi, I'm the Nugget Man, and I'm the Nugget Boy. Glad you show up. I want you to, get, to have this, and we get ourselves a nugget. Cool. All right. And what does the Nugget Boy want to give us? And he gives us a big nugget. Okay, so try to show off his dad, kind of like what I do. And yes. Okay, so we're not going to be battling those guys. But if you go right here, this is the C route. C route leads us to the very beginning, and we're going to have a... Uh, we're gonna have two Pokemon trainers right here. So let's see. What a beautiful oh, what beautiful stones! Wouldn't it be lovely if I could just uh, have a, such pretty gems on the walls of my room? And Fun Fest mission: Find shining ores has been added to the intro link. I live here. From today on, and my home will be here among the beautiful stones. That is kind of a. I don't know. It's kind of a. It wouldn't that affect her? Her health or something? I don't know. I do not know. Okay. So while this is going on, let me get my phone right here. If I could find it. Um. Yeah. Where the hell is my phone? Okay. Trying to look for my phone. Don't know where it's at. May have pressed the wrong thing. And here's a confused ray. Good gravy. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I'm trying to find my phone here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a rock slide again. Hopefully, we won't get confused or anything like that. So, there we go. Found it! <sighs> let's go dig attack. Okay, so we are confused and we are hurt. And that right there, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get hurt. So, here comes a takedown attack. So, anywho, uh, while this is going on, let's see, let's see, while this is going on, let's go ahead and take a look at, let's go ahead and look at this guy right here, Blood Kiss. What was the reason behind me looking at this Pokemon? And, well, let's, yeah, Dig Attack does the trick. And there you go. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Fainted. We grow a level right there, level 33. And let's see. Da, 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 da. We're going to have to be battling again. Holy crud. Okay, so after defeating this person, we're going to get ourselves a Chesto Berry, which could be used in battle for, like, you know, sleepy kind of situations and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and see what there's. Uh, there's nothing right here. Holy crud. Okay, so I'll be right back. Uh, I'll be right back in just a bit, guys. I'm trying to look at something right here. You know, Buckus. Trying to find the reason be, uh, of being why. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are back, and well, from what it looks like right here, guys, we are playing both Pokemon Black and White 2, okay? So, so far, Butkus, our Growlithe, has about three, four? Hold on just a sec. One, two, yeah, it has... Can't even count, god dang it. Okay, it has four attacks left to learn, one being Crunch at level 39, uh, Heat Wave at level 41, Outrage at level 43, and Fire Blitz at level 45. So I think that's the reason why I was waiting for for it to like you know to to well to fully grow up and all that stuff because uh, holy crap yeah I forgot about that. So let's see. 
I need to check up on buckets too because uh, yeah, I forgot about what what kind of stats it does have. So as you can see right here, its nature, which is quiet, actually helps out its special attack and kind of you know messes up with its speed right there. Uh, it is more. It's even it's even out with uh, both its attack and in special attack. So that's the main reason why I have like these two phys like I have more physical attacks and special attacks right here. So I think I know exactly what I was trying to do right here. Like I said, guys. Uh, remembering, remembering, it's kind of hard, guys. It really, really is. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use another Hyper Potion on our Pokemon right here, Desert Storm. And while this is going on, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Gigalith because, yeah, it's our weakest Pokemon. Kind of want to, you know, dominate this whole thing right here. And, uh, let's see, where are we? Oh, yeah, there's an item close by right here. So before we battle that guy, let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves in iron. And there is a Pokemon ch or Pokemon Ranger. Her name is Brianna. And yeah, she will actually give us another another berry once we beat her. I think the other one will be a Chesto Berry again. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is a Chesto Berry. So here we go, Minchino, wanting to battle. This should be an easy battle right here for, well, Gigalith. Let's go with the air cutter attack right here. And here comes the echo voice. So that br that brings up another um, another topic right here, guys. So if you guys may have remembered from Pokemon X and Y when it was coming out, there was a lot of speculation about a new typing, another new typing aside from, po uh, from fairy types. Uh, a lot of people were saying sound type, uh, yeah, sound type and all that stuff. Which I, I kind of do see happening later on, you know, if Pokemon decides to make more games and all that stuff. We are getting Generation 9, I think, later on in this year, 2022. And I don't think they're going to be coming out with an extra typing right now. Because, well, they, they've already done some previews that just, you know, doesn't really, doesn't really scream... Uh, sound types, but do you guys think that sound type Pokemon will be in a reality? Comment down below. Uh, I have seen it happen. Actually, we need to battle this guy. Hold on. Yes. I have seen that happen in Pokemon hat games, such as uh, Pokemon Brown, I think. I think there's a, there were other games, too, that, that had sound types. Um, yeah. If it happens in hat games, then I probably think it will happen right here in, in the real games. But if you know, that, that's yet to, again. That's yet to be seen. I think that it will actually. I think it will actually happen at some point. I don't know how many more generations they're going to be coming out with. I mean, they're going. They're literally going throughout the whole world, and I think this next generation will be located in Spain. Which, if that's the case, uh, I think they should bring uh, the Kalos region back in that game because uh, what was it? Yeah, we, we all we all thought the same thing. You know, it was a little incomplete. They should have been an X Y Z. Uh, there should have been a Z version and all that stuff. And well, you know, it didn't really happen. And why is? Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, special attack, future sight. I completely forgot about that. And uh, that. Well, yeah. Okay. Come on. Do it for the bitches. There we go. So like I was saying, guys. Uh, I think we all felt a little incomplete with the XY uh, series because, you know, there was no Z, Pokemon Z version. Um, and then eventually, they kind of moved over the, the whole Zygarde thing to the next games, which was Pokemon Sun and Moon. Which, by the way, I kind of do have a little bit of an announcement for that one, which I will probably have featured a little bit later. But, um, yeah, everything got pushed over to, that, to, to those games and really... Uh, Again, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like they should have put a Pokemon Z version just because, you know, it it, it kind of uh, you know, how should I put it? It kind of it it made the game, it made the whole series, and including the region incomplete. There was just nothing there afterwards. There was no. If I had to say like you know what what after games were the worst, it was probably Pokemon X and Y because there was literally nothing there. There was just. You know, solve the mystery of the girl with amnesia. That's pretty much it. But, I don't know. Comment down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Anywho, we're kicking some blood right here. Joltik. Doesn't really look like the Pokemon 
right here. It's really a tick, like really small. And he's coming out with a, or she, he or she? I don't even know. Coming out with a gold bat, so I really don't want any of that. So let's go to Magneto. Look at this guy, yes, finally complete. Been waiting for this whole thing, and here's a gold bat. You don't want to mess with that. So here we go, v Volt Switch. And the swift attack is it's probably its best choice right there, but yes, look at this. Volt switch, gonna, gonna eliminate you. Bam. And there goes Golbat. And I don't think Magneto's gonna be switching out. Look at that, Shedder grows a level 34. Learning Scary Face, don't want to teach it that. Not really in the mood for that. And well, Lumi has been defeated. Okay, so that's that. Pushing that right there. And, okay, so we're going to be grabbing this item right here. We have found ourselves a revive. That's pretty nice right there. And let's go right here. And I think... Oh, wow. Huh. Bianca's right there. So let's go ahead and talk to her. You know what? I'm here prof at Professor Juniper's uh, uh, request. I'm researching a Pokemon called Tynamo. But there aren't very many, and they don't seem to be very strong. Which, uh, you know, it's it's going down the line of, uh, you know, Feebas and Magikarp, yeah. What the heck? Oh, crap. Yeah, they're going, it's going down the line of uh, Magikarp and, Fee and Feebas. They just don't, they're not strong at first, but then later on, boom, they, they go out to be like one of the best Pokemon out there. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on the Zip Striker. Holy crud. Zip Striker. Looking pretty cool, but guess what? High jump kick. Uh, oh, crap, baskets. Forgot that it was faster than me. You know, at first, I actually... Oh, crap, baskets. I... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I didn't see that coming. All right. Never mind. So, when I first played... Okay, we're going to switch it out to Desert Stone. When I was first playing Pokemon Black and White... A long time ago, and I believe this was like already 10 years ago. Why are you turning the page? Holy crud. Okay. Yeah, this was about almost 10 years ago, guys. Can't believe I'm saying this. 10 years ago, Pokemon Black and White came out. And I didn't necessarily know where to go, what to do with it. Shoot, I remember... I remember the very, very first walkthrough that I made of Pokemon Black and White. I hacked... I hacked uh, Rowlet and uh, what was it called? Uh, Bisharp uh, Ponyard, yeah. I remember hacking those two Pokemon because, well, I thought those Pokemon looked pretty cool. I wanted to use them. Can't believe that I couldn't use them until way later on. It, it was it was annoying. It really was. I don't know what else. I do, I'm not gonna cross that because there's a Pokemon there, and there's nothing right there. That's annoying. Okay. Okay, so we found ourselves a Dragon Gem, which is a little bit of luck right there. And let's grab this. We found ourselves an Escape Rope, which is nice. I remember taking a full year off from that walkthrough. And what else did I do? Taking a full year off, replacing the first five episodes with, uh, with up-to-date episodes, which was uh, kind of annoying. Yeah, back then, and I'm probably, I could probably say for right now, I'm a little, like, I could say that I was a little unorganized with all that stuff. Um, it wasn't since, like, it wasn't until, like, you know, I actually decided to switch up everything, change up, uh, the whole thing, and complete the whole walkthroughs and all that stuff, and yeah, you know, I would have to say, like, after Pokemon Black and White, that's when I, that's when I was not playing the other games, uh, like, the other games. Like, I wasn't getting more of an interest in the games. Like, to be honest right here, this is probably going to be the first time I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completing Pokemon White and Black, or Black and White 2. And why are we doing rotation battles? I do not know, but guess what? Either Pokemon is going to take this high jump kick. There we go. Yeah, there's no need for me to change Pokemon right here. And you guys are messed up. You guys are screwed. Okay. Yeah, like, uh... I didn't really, like, I never, I, I didn't really take interest in Pokemon Black and White, Black and White 2. I do not know why. And then, I guess you could say that, oh crap, baskets, okay. So, I guess you could say, what if it rotated right here, hold on. Train of thought, nope. Actually, train of thought the other way. Dig attack, okay. 
So we're gonna dig. That way we won't get hit. But yeah, like I never really took the the interest in Pokemon Black and White 2 or any of that those games. I didn't know what what the reason was, but haven't really played these games. Uh, haven't really have have had the time either because well you know I guess I got a little I get I guess I got a little um, how should I put it I guess I got a little lazy but then again my schedule got a little too piled up and everything that's why you know a lot of these games that I'm playing now I'm just having a little bit of uh, you know issues with remembering stuff or you know finding some extra stuff that you guys probably already know of main reason because well you know probably the main reason why is because I yeah you guys have more time and I don't I don't know where this conversation is leading but yes time is of like I haven't had much time guys to do anything and well let's go with this brick break and uh, okay the heck is going on right here okay so Alrighty, but yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh, yeah, I haven't had much time to play m most of these games, that's why, like, you know, whatever. Uh, nowadays, like, I usually play these games off, like, off screen just to get a, a better idea of what, what I'm doing. Like, right now, I'm currently replaying Pokemon Sun and Moon just to get, like, you know, just to remember the stuff. Like, I've played that game about four times already, which is kind of amazing because, like, you know, again, time. Not a lot of time. Um... Pokemon Black and White, or Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are the games that are, like, on my list of, you know, actually playing for the first time ever. Never played those games, guys, believe it or not. And here we found ourselves the Metal Coat. Nice move, or nice item right there. And let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about. Okay, so is this the way to greet and hide the mountains? And okay, whatever, let's go ahead and battle. Let's go ahead and battle. There's still another item right here that I still need to need to get. So here we go. Hiker Jeremy wants the battle, and he is coming out with his Onyx right here. So let's go Shatter right here. And why are you turning? Good gravy, man. This is getting annoying. Uh, you guys don't notice, but my yeah, my guide is like not yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Keep it there. Keep it there. Good gravy. Come on. Don't be like this. Yeah. This okay, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna leave it like that. Screw it. Okay. So let's go back to brick break right here. And uh, seriously, why are you smacking me down? Why are you putting me down? I don't know. So here we go. Oh, Lane at the smack it down with my uh, brick break right here. And there it is. We get some moxie right there. And well, let's see, he's gonna come out with a bulldoor. So let's continue on right here with Shadar. Shadar, ready to go, and let's get this high jump kick. And that right there is it's sturdy, so yes, he he survives from just one more hit right here. You gotta love those steel and rock type Pokemon because sturdy always comes in handy for those guys. And there you go, Bulldor defeated, and more Moxie because well, we're getting stronger. And look at that, we are at level 35 for Shatter. So I guess I have to I have to switch out that experience share because well I've been working wonders for Shatter. So let's go ahead and uh, get the items. Let's move that. Let's give it to Gigalif. Twisted Spoon has been swapped. Let's actually take that item and let's give Shatter a, another another item right here. Let's see, Dragon Jam, Dust Stone, Soft Sand. That I do not have. Let's see. What kind of an item that I can use to to power up my Pokemon right here? Power Jam Bright. The heck? Okay, held. Trick Glare lowers the accuracy. Uh, Magnet. Okay, so you know what? Let's go with the Bright Powder. Let's give this to Shadar right here. That should be strategic enough for us. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go back to Sigh of the Torrent. It's been a while. Let's go ahead and give him some wraps right here. And, well, we don't need to go right here. Like I said, there's one more item that we need to actually grab from here. But we're going to be battling this guy because, you know, his left, right, it's super fast. Okay, let's go. Let's get it. Here we go. Ace Trainer Shea wants the battle, and he's coming out with an Arkin. 
I have the right Pokemon for this guy. Thankfully, you know, Arcade is a, is a water type, or, you know, it, it is a rock type Pokemon too, so here we go. Water attack, or surf attack. For the win, say goodbye to Arkin. Look at that. And, well, he's going to be coming out with an Electabuzz right here. So, I do have the Pokemon for this guy. Let's go with Sir, uh, Desert Storm right here. Oh, my God. Look at that butt. Well, he, he looks like a big old, big old fly right there. So, let's go straight for a Dig Attack. And this guy preparing himself for any kind of special attacks. Luckily for us, we, we were more physical than anything. We're doing a physical attack right here. And the light screen does not work, but here comes a dig attack. And that right there takes out Electabuzz. So yes, look at that, okay. And Gigalith grows to level 32. Okay, so yes, that uh, that experience here is working wonders. So if we go right here, we grab this, we found ourselves a Thunderstone, which can be useful to evolve any kind of electric type Pokemon. If you do have an Eevee, which I think you can grab, I think, I don't know. I think you can grab around this area, or you can grab in this game, I should say. Uh, you will be able to evolve into a Jolteon, which a lot of people like doing. And, well, here we are, back into... Yeah, we are back into the first area right here. And I think there is just one more item that we need to we need to grab. And, uh, unfortunately, we get... We get... Yeah. <laughs> we get stopped by this chick right here. I think her name is Ace Trainer Mary. Yes, it is. Okay, let's battle her. Tartuga. Tartuga. And, well, here we go. We got Sigh of the Torrent ready to go. And, well, let's see. Let's go with the Dig Attack right here. Okay, alrighty. Crunch Attack does not make it. So, here we go. Dig Attack. And the Dig Attack almost makes it faint, but here comes a Crunch Attack. Holy crud. Okay, so thankfully for us, we are equipped with, uh, what was it? Yes, the leftover, so I don't know. And we're going to be burrowing again. Anywho, guys, let's see. What else is there to talk about? Yes, look at that. Uh, we're already a half half hour into this this whole thing right here. Normally, I would be splitting it up in two, but yeah, I kind of decided, ah, let's get this whole thing out of the way since I'm writing it down. And, well, he's coming out with a Magmar. I think... I think we're gonna be we're almost done with this game too. I eh, know there's there's a after game and all that stuff. Hopefully I won't lag on anything else. And well this guy right here. Yeah, getting confused and all that stuff. You gotta love Magmar and its butthead for confusing us. So here we go. Straight for a good gravy. Fire Punch, how are you faster than my Pokemon and why are you so confused? I hate you! Oh my god, I'm getting so irritated right now. Let's go. And come on. Oh my god. This is getting annoying. This Magmar is getting lucky. I'll tell you that right now. So here we go. Let's get the Surf Attack. Here comes a Flame Burst. That is not effective and we snapped out of our confusion. So time to eat shit. There we go. How's it feel to fail Magmar? In the, uh, avoiding the uh, inevitable right there and well we have defeated another trainer right here so now we're gonna go right here if you guys remember this stone if you push it this way now it will be easier for you to actually get to the exit of the charge stone cave we just had to make a full turn and obviously there has to be one more person right in front of us in order to get that item so let's go ahead and uh, let's see let's go ahead and use a fresh no actually fresh waters uh what was the fresh water for? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fresh water's for the uh, Pokemon League and all that stuff. Okay. So, we got one more trainer. He's not going to let us pass by and grab that item just willy-nilly and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and talk to him. Bring it on. My my uh, guess... We already got a nugget. Let's see. We got a revive. It might be a max repel. Good gravy. It's a max repel. Okay. So, here he comes out with an Auron. Gotta love the Auron. But, here we go with a Surf. Surf attack does its trick, and well, look at that, Aron defeated, and Gigalith getting some more points without doing anything at all. And well, here he's going to be coming out with a Nose Pass. Okay. 
nose pass. How you doing? You got the big red nose. Kind of like, uh, what was it? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And just... Oh, crap baskets. Forgot about the sturdy. And look at this. Coming out with this power gem right here. But look at that. Yes, leftovers. Has done its trick. So here we go. Surf attack yet again. And just like that, we have defeated another nose badge right there. Look at that. Okay, so that is that. And time to get this max repel, I guess. Is it a max repel? Nope, it's a Carbos. I was completely wrong. Never mind. Okay, so I guess we have completed the whole thing right here, guys. Because the last thing we need to do is go through this door right here. And we are finally free. Hello, Mistralton City. Yes, Miss Stralton City. And now, I'm going to go forward right here because, well, here is Professor Juniper. And how you doing there? Mm, 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 mm. Hi there, Draven. It's nice to finally be able to talk to you in person. I'm Professor Juniper. You accepted the Pokedex and came all this way out here with your partners. Here, I'll evaluate your progress for you. So, Draven, you've seen 101 Pokemon at this point. I see. Thank you. This is my uh, a token of my gratitude. And we get ourselves a Master Ball. The one ball that cannot miss anything. This Master Ball is the most powerful kind of Pokeball. It can catch any Pokemon without fail. Journeys are about to meeting Pokemon. Don't let the chance get away. Still, I'm amazed at how much Pokemon uh, distribution changed in the last two years. That means my research will never end. Still, you can uh, you could say that what's uh, what makes what's uh, that's what makes it fun. Okay, Professor Juniper. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Uh, oh, well, hello there. Mm, 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 mm. Why, if it isn't Skyla. This is Skyla. She's the Mr. Alton City gym leader. Why are you surprised, Professor? You did ask for a lift in my plane to cross Twist Mountain since you can't uh, reach Opalicid City by foot. Really? Uh huh. You're right, but I have to quit. I have a quick favor to ask first. I want to look at the Celestial Tower. Do you mind waiting till I'm through? See you, Draven. Be sure to always be uh, get along with the uh, with all kinds of Pokemon. Okay. All right. So she's going somewhere else. Honestly, I can't tell if she's laid back or if she's just not paying attention to, uh, to anything outside her head. The apple sure doesn't fall far from the tree. Hmm. What do you mean by that? What's next? Are you coming to my gym to challenge me? Or are you going to follow the professor at the Celestial Tower to do some training? As long as I get to battle with a strong trainer, I am fine either way. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Mm, she is uh, looking pretty fun right there. So that completes this episode right here, guys. We are in Mistrelton City. The next episode will consist of something. I don't know what it is. Uh, you know what? We could go to the Mr. Alton City Gym, but the Pokemon there are a little strong. Yeah, she is a flying type trainer. I will be going to the Celestial Tower, I think. I don't know. That could be what we're going to be doing. So thank you guys again for watching another episode of our Pokemon uh, White 2 walkthrough. I will be back for another episode. Make sure to make a donation right there. Hit the, the heart button and all that stuff. Links in the description and all that stuff. I will see you guys in the next episode as we do something. I don't know what it is. We will do something, guys. See you guys.